We're on day three of the backpack. We're on a circuit that we were on the first day. We're probably looking at just over four k's. So we've gone from two k's first day, one k more or less yesterday, and a little bit over four today. I am pretty sore. I've noticed that because there are a lot more people around, I haven't, I didn't start off with the camera straight in my hand. I've been walking for about 40 minutes already. What I have noticed is I've just been, not like the other days, the other days I've been piss farting around walking through, I haven't been following the track, I've been going off off the beaten track and, and I've been finding those little, those little shelters, right? Somebody's been busy throughout this whole area. So, right, we've got a plane, so we'll just pause. Yeah, what I've noticed is because I've just been soldiering on and just, all right, we're on a mission, we're gonna... I've mostly been sticking to the track today, and, but I've noticed that my posture is not straight. I'm kind of doing this lean over business. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. But I haven't noticed that, see, so right now as I'm standing, I'm standing up like normally, right? So my center of gravity, maybe it's a little bit leaning forward, slightly, and it's probably to compensate for the, the pack on the back. When I, when I do very, very long, extensive walks, chafing becomes an issue. So the compression shorts, in my case, help with that. You know, and, this is, and, and I have no doubt that this is probably why um, sports players and stuff wear compression shorts underneath their normal shorts, right? So they don't look like cyclists. You know, they've got normal shorts on top of the other ones. They would probably wear more like underwear. Anyway, maybe that's too much information, but I have to overcome that because that's going to be a reality as a real challenge that I would face out on a, on a genuine hike. Once you're on a genuine hike, there's no going back. Well, there is, but you, you're committed, right? So part of this conditioning is really to mentally, as well as physically, prepare myself. This is what it is, and kind of be at peace with that. That's a fair long rumble. Ramble, that's a fair long ramble. So I have been piss farting around a little bit. I've been doing a bit of B-roll. This is gonna not make much sense for you guys and have, for me to have something to edit at the end if I decide to do so, if I've got no B-roll. So I have been doing that. I haven't just been slogging it all the way. I'm pretty much almost at the end of the, that initial 2K circuit. So I think we'll keep the I'll keep the camera in my hand. I'll get some more B-roll along the way, but um, so far, look, I'm no sore today than I was yesterday. That's the reality. I was probably sore when I was hunching and doing that solid hike with my, my posture in a sort of different stance. I was a bit more uncomfortable through that, not necessarily at the moment. So, yeah, I don't feel too bad. This is, you know, we are day three. 
day three of it, it's, we're not talking about three days of solid hiking. We'll build up to that. We'll build up to that. Going through the motions. Going through the motions. The moment, feeling all right. Feeling all right. The only time in terms of soreness, the only times that I've actually been feeling sore has been the steady walking pace. And I think it's got to do with me leaning, leaning my body weight. And there's probably some way for me to adjust this backpack further, or I might not have it full to the correct height because I, need, I might need to cinch down, you know, they've got those there might be some of that at play that I can probably straighten myself up with um, in order to correct the posture somewhat. So at the moment, that's the only thing that's kind of been, you know, my, my feet are throbbing. They're not sore, but they are throbbing. I can feel them just hot and throbbing. Uh, my legs at the moment are sort of okay. They're about, they're about as sore as they were yesterday. Um, quads, calves, um, hamstring a little bit, not as much, yeah, but my hamstrings as well. And this um, mid, it was mid back, it's now mid to upper. And I think it's now mid to upper because of this hunching motion. I think I'm doing something there with my stance that is throwing, uh, is throwing the weight off and it's hurting me. So it's sore, it's not quite a burn. It's like, it's not like a, you know, you get lactic acid and you get this burn, it's not like that. It's just sore. Yeah, I suppose it's, it's a muscle that you use every day. I do wear a heavy backpack going to work anyway. So that's not really new, but keeping it on for an extended amount of time is. So, as well as the, the walking. The walking is not, I'm not used to that either. But, you know, going at a leisurely pace, you know, I reckon I could probably stick it out for another hour and be so, sort of okay. I don't think I'd be too much different to where I am now, other than if I kept up that pace. If I kept up the pace with that posture, I don't know. I don't know how I would be after that. But, let's see, we'll check in tomorrow.